What is going on guys? My name is Frank. Welcome back to the channel. Here bringing you your weekly dose of automotive content. Behind me is probably the coolest Porsche Cayenne GT that you'll ever see. Let's get into the review. To the channel i hope you enjoyed the little cinematic in the beginning let's get on into today's car review in front of me is the 2023 porsche cayenne turbo gt not just your regular mom's cayenne this one is meant to compete with the big boys so this one in front of me is located first of all at porsche south shore in freeport new york it is currently for sale i'll put up the sticker price along with the listing to this exact car and their website in the link below go ahead and give them a follow on instagram as well there's their instagram and let's get into this video so to start off this is a paint to sample car this is an eleven thousand dollar option money 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 it is finished in geyser gray originating from 2014 on the 50th anniversary porsche 911 i'll put a picture of what that looks like right here so you can get a good look at it the paint on this car is absolutely gorgeous um, like i said it is an eleven thousand dollar paint job along with a whole other list of options for this car so what makes this car a turbo gt versus a standard your mom's kind of cayenne <laughs> this one has a beautiful V8 inside pushing 631 horsepower with 626 pound-feet of torque. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as f boy. This car did top the record at the Nuremberg Ring, making it the fastest SUV currently on the market. Why are you running? Why are you running? Let's go ahead and pop this open. There's a little latch right here. Push it to one side and lift it up. There's that gorgeous 4.0 liter V8 inside. See that plaque on there as well. I'm pulling it back. Most of it is covered by typical engine plastics as with any um, newer model car in today's world, but it is what it is. Again, this is a monstrosity of an engine pushing out 631 horsepower with 626 pound-feet of torque. Now, obviously the downside is obviously this truck does weigh a lot. It weighs in at 5,000 pounds. Holy sh Holy sh just about depending on the options that you do get for this truck and it has a zero to 60 time of 3.1 seconds so it is still fast even with a higher curb weight again it is an suv it's meant for the snow it's meant for the track as well you could take it every day daily driver grocery getter all right so jumping into the front end we have these beautiful wheels along with gorgeous front end styling coming down to the front end you can see this radiator in there hiding that gorgeous v8 behind and along on the front you have radiator on this side and you have one obviously on the other side this one does have the front end sensor right in here as well for adaptive cruise control along with your front parking sensor right on top of there front end of this truck is fairly standard in a sense um, it's just a little bit more aggressive than the other ones we have a little bit more black trim on here and then obviously the overall styling on the truck is relatively similar but it has a few more aggressive points on here which we will show now coming down to these wheels they are absolutely massive. The front brake rotors along with the calipers. Um, as big as the Urus, no, but they're just about there. Um, as one of the sales guys here had said, they are bigger than your ego. All right, so let's go ahead and point out some of the main differences on the exterior of this truck that compares it to a standard Cayenne. We're gonna have a more aggressive styling along with the carbon fiber options on this truck as well. We have carbon fiber mirror caps. We have a full carbon fiber roof. We have this gorgeous carbon fiber spoiler on the back end. Cabo Hueva, Cabo Hueva, Cabo Hueva. Goes all the way across with the piano black finish on the top. Piano black finish on the rear end as well. Carbon fiber rear diffuser back here. All right, guys, so coming out to the rear end now, we have the carbon fiber rear diffuser along with a titanium exhaust on here. It makes an absolute crisp V8 note. We're going to get a cold start of that in a minute. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so as you heard on that cold start, it does sound excellent from a start. However, this truck does have a valve system. So when you're in park or anything like that and not moving, you're not allowed to open the valves up completely. You do have to be moving at a certain RPM and a certain speed for them to fully open up. It does offer three different drive modes as well. So again, when we jump inside, I'll go ahead and show you those all. But as far as the cold start comes and general sound, it's going to always sound the same um, when you're sitting still and just starting it up. It's not quiet, but it's also not loud and angry. So at least you could sneak out of your neighborhood before you really start getting on it. So let's go ahead, let's jump inside and let's show you the inside of this truck because it's honestly gorgeous. Oh man. What a great feeling inside of this truck. So let's get into this. You, you, you could, you do, you, you want. Interior. The interior of this truck is phenomenal. It's gorgeous. It's everything that you would think with such a high price tag at 200 and you know, I have a sticker price right here, $239,500. Our base is 188.7. So this truck does offer a lot of options in it. So when you have a truck at this level and this price level, you honestly expect something special when you get in here. And fortunately, this truck does provide that feeling. You get in here, you know, and, and it's it's a really special feeling, like I say, with some other cars, but it, it really is. It just feels excellent when you get in here. You have this gorgeous, thick steering wheel wrapped in leather. Um, it feels great. You have metal paddle shifters. They feel amazing. They don't feel cheap at all. On the driver's side door, when you first get in, you're greeted with carbon fiber, black leather, and that piano black gloss finish. You have that same finish running throughout the entire truck with more carbon fiber. The ceiling is lined in Alcantara. The center, you have these gorgeous leather bolsters on each side, little handles for you. Also this giant screen, if you will. It's finished in piano black, but when the truck is on, all of your buttons are illuminated from here. So you jump in, we have the key right here. This is a leather wrapped Porsche key. So when you jump in here, you're obviously, as standard Porsche is, you have your engine start and stop on the left side. We'll go ahead and click that over once to put it in an accessory mode. We'll show all of our lights on the dashboard. Again, on the steering wheel, we have all of our controls that for the screens. We have these balls. That's what she said. <laughs> on each side that are used to control the different functions inside of the truck. So the right one, we can show everything from our map over to our lap times. We have our G-Force. We have the PDCC. We have our drive distribution. Tell you where all of your power is getting output um, at the time that you're accelerating. You have your boost pressure on the bottom of there as well. Your obviously tire pressure and your standard temperatures as well that it'll show you. Um, on your right side, you're gonna be able to control your cruise control adaptive distance. You have your current miles this truck has 923 miles on it um you have your navigation and you know that's really it the center is where we're going to have our rpms with our turbo gt in the center it's also going to tell us what gear are in and our current speed with a speedometer that goes up to 200 miles per hour is going to be on the left side um coming into here again on the steering wheel we have the fun button as we like to say this is what you use you turn it put the truck in sport mode and put it in sport plus mode and you have individual mode where you can kind of spec each thing out. So going into normal mode, it's just gonna drive normal. We have sport mode. Our drive mode is gonna to go to sport. Our chassis is gonna to go to sport. Our chassis height is gonna to go to low. So this truck does offer a full air suspension. It's gonna lower for you as well. It's an adaptive suspension. Uh, and our sport exhaust is going to open up. Drive mode on sport plus is gonna to change to sport plus mode and the chassis is gonna to go to sport plus as well. Your chassis height is gonna go down to low. Sport exhaust is still going to be open. So those are the main things that this truck does offer. Um, and then again, on the center screen is gonna have all of your main controls. So on the center in here, when we have the home screen, you go to the home screen, you have everything from Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have this gorgeous touch screen right here. You could scroll right through it. You have your navigation, your phone. Um, we'll go over to the different drive modes again in here. We have everything in here that you would need. Assistance, trip, your comfort. Now, when we go into comfort, this truck does offer heated seats and ventilated seats. It also offers different balancing. So you can, if you want, change the heating. You can change the distribution of the heat and the coolness. So if you want, you're jumping in here, you want your to be really warm. You don't want your back to get any heat. 
you just simply touch it and drag it down to make the bottom get more heat than the back. And same goes when you're on ventilation. If you want your upper back to be colder and your bottom to not, just raise it up to the backrest and it'll go ahead and make the backrest really cold for you and your bottom will not get any ventilation at all. So pretty cool little kind of things that this truck has in it. Uh, it's got all your standard, you know, um, lane keep assist. It's got blind spot monitoring, all your standard features that you would expect in a truck that costs a quarter of a million dollars and then some. And again, when you're in here, it really does feel special um, compared to like the standard Cayenne and everything like that. Uh, in the center console, we have our gear select lever. It's pretty standard, it is wrapped in leather. It's got a Porsche embroidered on the top of it. So when you go into gear, it automatically goes back to its sitting position. Your park button is on the back, just click that button. And you have a parking brake, engage that. On here as well is our main kind of system where you can control everything from. So you have the touchscreen for your media, your source, you can go to your climate control. And again, climate control, you can control everything through the screen. You're able to adjust your temperatures in the middle here. And again, control your heated and cooled seats on both the driver's side and the passenger side from here as well. Your traction control button is down here along with your suspension button um, right above that. The car does offer storage right here in the center. Two big cup holders right here. We have the Turbo GT leather wrapped armrest. Lift this up. We're ready with a wireless car charger and two USB ports, we have USB one and USB two. These are for the newer generation iPhones. There's no USB-C ports right here. Um, just be aware of that. And we'll also have a 12 charger right here in the center. So just a couple little things for you uh, to know. We have ambient lighting as well in this truck along here, along the dashboard. It's honestly gorgeous. And um, let's go ahead, jump into the back seats. Uh, the back seats are also gorgeous. Um, Let's go ahead and jump into the back end. We are greeted with that black leather, piano black finish and carbon fiber in the center. And then again on the bottom, on the door sill, we have the imprinted Cayenne right here. It is illuminated and is also surrounded in carbon fiber. Now hopping in back here, we do have rear perforated seats. So we have rear cooled seats and rear heated seats. Let's go ahead and get inside of the back end. Got a lot of room back here. Um, back here is where you're gonna have your screens again to control your different temperatures. Um, and then also you have another 12 volt right here and then two more USB ports down here. Again, this is for like the newer iPhone. Um, that's really it for here. We have the center storage area right here. We got a little pull down area right here with three cup holders. Looks like one like smaller one. And then you have two standard size cup holders. Hold that up. We do have embroidered Porsche uh, headrests. Again, on all of them, just to be aware of that. And uh, let's jump into the trunk. All right guys, so in the back here is obviously an SUV, got plenty of room. Um, we have the privacy screen right here, which is also wrapped in leather. And then jumping down here, we have the standard carpet right here. And then a little feature that they actually have is this little flap right here, which is wrapped in leather. You pull it down, and actually covers the top portion of the bumper right here so you don't get any scratches when you're leaning in and putting stuff back here. Also features back here, we do have rear illumination along with your ride height adjustment. So if you're coming in here and you have to lower the truck to get groceries in or out or whatever you're putting back here, you can just click this, lowers the ride height, and that's it. Um, it is obviously fully automated, so we'll go ahead, go up here, click the button. I'm gonna close for you right there. All right guys, so now we're back outside of the truck again. Like I said, this truck does have a ton of options added onto it. I'm going to put up a picture of the window sticker right now so that you can pause it and fully read through because like I said, there are a ton, including that $11,000 geyser gray paint to sample option on this truck. It is gorgeous in person. Video may not do it justice, but when you come here and see it in person, it'll honestly take your breath away. Like I said, thank you again to Porsche of South Shore for inviting me down. Thank you again for watching today's video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when I post my next video for the next car review. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's content. Remember to give it a nice thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.